So tonight on Garage Time, we're going to go through some of the hoses and electrical connections on our control valve, on our auto stick. The engine is in, we're getting it ready to go, so we just want to go through uh, some of those details with you. So here you can see our control valve is installed in the vehicle. As I mentioned before when we were doing the bench test, uh, positive is this side, negative is this side. Now the negative goes back through your neutral safety switch and from there it goes to the shifter. So when you touch the shifter, you're grounding out this terminal. Um, you can see our new hoses have been installed. So a vacuum from the manifold goes to this port. And the hose closest to the rear of the vehicle goes out to your vacuum tank. Your vacuum tank is just mounted under your rear fender. And then the back hose goes to your clutch servo. So those are your three vacuum hoses connected up to your control valve. Okay, so Sean's going to stay back here. I'm going to go inside the vehicle. I'm going to turn on the ignition and you'll actually hear our control valve activate. You'll hear the vacuum. You should hear it's, well, I'm going to describe it as a pop, but you'll hear that in a second. So there you go. Our control valve has been activated. Okay, so as we mentioned, the shifter is installed. If I turn on the key now, when we got this vehicle, they had actually the neutral safety switch had been well bypassed, so the car could be started in any gear. I don't know if you heard that in the background, but that's our micro switch. Can you hear that when I touch the shifter? That's activating our control valve in the back. So our micro switch is set up and working. Um, just slight touching activates it, which will engage and will disengage our clutch. So it's in gear right now. I'm just demonstrating we have fixed it. Our car will not start, which is great. So we put it back into neutral. And the car fires right up. So our safety switch is working, which is excellent news. And I'll start it up again and I'll just demonstrate when I touch that, me throwing it into gear, but I won't leave the engine run for long because well, it's loud and we're in a garage. You might need me to touch the gas and my legs not. <laughs> I should also mention that we're on a hoist, so the wheels, we're just off the ground, the wheels are spinning, but we're in gear. Yeah, this thing's ready to go for a drive, so we'll be posting that in another video. Thanks for watching. So that was showing you our control valve working on our auto stick. Um, now we're going to put the wheels back on, drop it to the ground, and take it for a spin.